we're here to make a new type of news. New insights, new styles and new topics every day. We are News Generations. Making news just for you. It's March 18th here in Seoul, I'm Shin Yoon, and you're watching News Generation. Joining me in the studio is Walter Lee. Lovely to be here. And Woo Hee Jun. Happy to be here. Happy Monday. Now both are here to speak on behalf of people in their 20s and 30s. As usual, let's start with our news feed, which covers different hashtags and news items that have been trending on social media over the past 24 hours. Apples are no longer the most popular fruit bought by consumers here in Korea. According to the country's three biggest supermarkets, from 2020, strawberries became the most popular fruit sold. Strawberries used to only be sold during the winter, but thanks to GMO technology, consumers can get hold of sweeter strawberries all year long. Before, apples used to be the most popular ones sold at markets, but recent data shows that apple prices have more than doubled over the past year here in Korea, causing sales to fall. And Japan has released the fourth batch of Fukushima treated water on Sunday. Tokyo Electric Power Company released around 7,800 tons, bringing the total amount of treated water discharge from last August to over 31,000 tons. Japan has been processing wastewater from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station so that dangerous amounts of tritium are not detected. The plant's operator says the next round of discharge is possibly going to be next month. And ending off with entertainment-related news, South Korean actor Han Soo-hee has confirmed that she is in fact dating fellow actor Yu jun yeol Rumors about the two dating first spread on social media. Some claim that they saw the two actors spending time together in Hawaii. Shortly after, Liu's ex-girlfriend of seven years, Hitty, who is also a former K-pop idol and actor, posted a photo reminiscent of Hawaii and wrote the caption, funny. This made netizens suspect that Liu might have been dating Han before he officially broke up with Hedi, and Han Zui has since been at the center of backlash. Many criticized her for being Ryu's rebound and said the timing of her dating Ryu was quite uncanny. And the actress responded in a lengthy blog post that she and Liu Junior had only gotten together after he had officially ended his relationship with Hedi. She also alleged that Hedi and Liu Junior had broken up early last year, which was actually months before their breakup was announced in November. And this time around, we aren't seeing fans share their disappointment about the fact that their celebrity crush is dating. Instead, we're seeing more weight being added to the fact that it seems like the two celebrities started a relationship while one was still in another. So what about you guys? What do you guys think about how over the weekend we've been seeing so many headlines related to their dating and the timing of when they started to define the relationship? What were your thoughts on that? Well, actress Han Soo Wu, she is being criticized, as you mentioned, like a few days ago. And there must be some back scenes between the Harry and you that we couldn't know all. But I don't really want to get in about this one's personal issue, to be honest. Of course, it seems to be having quite complicated situations with the a lot of issues going on. But when it comes with the relationship, even between the celebrity, in straightforward speaking, it's my, not my business, you mm. know? So I don't wanna be involved in some of the rumor that mentions, because I couldn't perfectly know the, all the details anyways, and some of like judging someone with the rumor, it could push someone in the danger somehow. Exactly, now what about you, Walter? It's not the first time that we've seen relevant news, but what are your thoughts on that? Well, anyway. Personally, I stan Hedy. Uh, she is one of my favorite Korean celebrities. I love her personality. She is just an aura of fun, bubbly. I, I mean, I just love her so much. So guess whose side I'm on? But saying all that, well, first off, you go. You go, girl. You go, girl, with that <laughs> sass on that Instagram post. I saw that Instagram post. But these are people's personal lives at the end of the day we're talking about, and we should not forget about that and take it into consideration. Anyway, we'll talk more about this on our main topic, but as much as I adore Hedy, uh, I don't think Han Zoe Yi or Ryu jun Yol should be facing this sort of criticism, to be honest with you, because to be honest, like Hee Jun said, it's not really for us to talk about. Mm. I mean, it's not the first time anyone in anyone's life where we've seen a rebound or maybe this sort of situation happen in a normal life. Mm -hmm. So let's just, you know, stick to ourselves, but we'll talk about that more in a minute. Exactly, but isn't it quite ironic because we're seeing so many more de uh, dating reality show programs these days mm. that cover rebounds. So 
I honestly thought that our generation was more open to the concept of indefinitely indefinite dating times or when to define the relationship. But after this incident, I realized that there's still a lot of conservative fans out there. And speaking of celebrities disclosing their personal lives or whether they want it or not, I think a major question that we'd like to answer today during our episode is, are celebrities allowed to love? And it really doesn't seem to be the case for a lot of K-pop idols out there. And my AI voice secretary will tell you why. Earlier this month, K-pop singer Karina from the group Esper wrote a Hendry an apology letter to her fans. She apologized for her reported relationship that drew a major outcry from her fans. Media outlets like CNN and BBC analyzed that K-pop fans seem to be living off the image that idols are romantically accessible, hence explaining some of the fervent followers' extreme loyalty. They commented on how in Korea it seems to be taboo for entertainers or K-pop stars to date publicly as record labels worry that this part of their personal life will push away fans. This analysis has definitely gained weight with Karina's dating scandal. Angry fans sent a truck with an electronic billboard to the headquarters of her agency which read Do you not get enough love from your fans? Another board read Why did you choose to betray your fans? We're going to start our discussion with the Karina incident. To calm down enraged fans, Karina wrote a handwritten apology letter. And here in Korea, public figures usually write handwritten letters to show how sorry they are. It's often symbolic of how grave a situation is. So Walter, could you tell us a little bit more about Karina's handwritten letter and what she apologized for? First, those enraged fans should be sending me a letter on how <laughs> enraged I am that they've made me. Yes, what I think is an unnecessary apology letter to her fans. Karina wrote that she is very very sorry for bringing up what is called a surprising situation or news to her fans and also she said letting them down now she also went on to say that she wants to make it up to her fans who were hurt by this news and will show a more mature side and a, and a hard-working side for her fans now this sort of angers me uh, that she had to come out and apologize what I think for no reason. Mm. It's things like this that can drive K-pop stars into depression. And I think that this is online bullying in my personal opinion. Mm. And I would like to expound on your personal opinion a little later, but did she have a choice? I mean, we've seen sales of Aespa, the group that she's been uh, a part of, go down. Her big fan base in China, they've been boycotting all of their songs and goods. So I do think that she was sort of pushed to be writing a handwritten apology letter and upload it on social media but it's definitely not the first time that we've seen k-pop idols have to do this as we mentioned with han soy and Yu jr in our news feed celebrities dating news always seems to ruffle some feathers among fans right exactly this is not the first time we have this type of issues because there's a group that unique tangju he actually apologized after he was revealed he's secretly married and have a childbirth and few um, years later the a uh, few years before, the EXO member Pek Kyun, he also posted apologize to the fans after his um, secret relation was kind of rebuilt. So in 2001, there is kind of like using the cell phone and dating with someone was kind of banned to the idol. So in that same year, the Park Jun Young, the member of the GOD, he would be like kicked it out of the group with the dating with the actress. Mm. And also in the Japan, there was a member of the girl group, she was like, um, made apologize to the public with shaving her head because her sacred relationship was revealed to the public. So if you want to look at this kind of issues, you can find a number of these issues more mm -hmm. easily, which means it has been like treated as common issues or faults. I think we're quite familiar to the concept of right. fans being very, I guess, hardcore when it comes to their celebrity crush having a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Mm -hmm. But as my AI voice secretary explained, Fans' reaction towards cutting a dating scandal garnered so much attention from global media, it raised the question as to whether K-pop idols or Korean celebrities should be and can date openly. Now, what are some surrounding arguments to that? Well, as you mentioned earlier in with the AO Voice, one of the arguments coming out of the situation was a posted uh, digital billboard to the something of the effect of, aren't the fans love enough for you? Mm. Um, for that person, spend your money on something else. You know, just, you know, that would have cost you some money. Spend it on something else instead of, you know, that silly little billboard that you did. But 
That's the main argument that I've seen come out of it, but I know that Hee Jun has a lot to say because I'm just too angry. Exactly. <laughs> Hee Jun, why don't you take a little bit more of a neutral stance as to explaining the surrounding arguments? Right. I know that in case of the Korea Idol fandom, they often feel conscious about mm. the raising their own idol and investing the money to raise their idol to the best. Um, so they say like in this time, it's kind of like betrayal have a mm -hmm. relationship in the situations. But some say that process of like dedicating, investing okay. in the such idol is not like obligatory or forced by someone mm -hmm. to do it. They just want to do it in that way as the fan. So dating between the young man and woman is like, it's like given, you know? Yeah. So, but why they're apologizing here? And I also personally stand on this side that I don't really get the points like why they're arguing on this. Mm. And now you mentioned a great point there. I want to find out where you two personally stand. And I can tell Walter that you are not <laughs> happy with right. these fans expressing their rage, right? Well, for me personally, I think we should treat celebrities as any other couple that you see who are mm -hmm. in love. Let me just say that in a calm voice. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I know the excuse that they are supposed to seem more gettable. <laughs> Let's just be honest with each other here. There's no chance of you getting that celebrity, even if you like them, no matter how hard you try. Yes, it does happen from time to time, but that's like a one in a billion chance. So, you know, sorry to burst that bubble that you, you know, oh, I hope to get this BTS mm -hmm. member, I hope to get this Asper member. It's not gonna happen. So come, you know, come at me, K-pop fans. I don't care. But, you know, you ain't gonna get the girl or guy that you want in that band, mm -hmm. in my personal opinion. Opinion, but let them live their hap happily lives in a relationship so they can feel love. Mm. Yes, they love the fan, like the the love that they get from their fans, but that's a little bit different from actually having a relationship in general. But can you blame fans? I mean, I want to play devil's advocate here <laughs> because I think the entertainment industry does sell the concept of being approachable. Or achievable. I mean, it's a celebrity crush if you think about it. Though, yeah. it, in reality, it may be very difficult for you to actually see and even date your celebrity crush. I think agencies want to sell the idea that they are these idols and artists out there that you might have a chance with. You can use your imagination. Mm -hmm. But then I think once that interferes with their personal life, and some fans go as far to expressing that rage, that could be problematic. Now, what do you think? Well, I also quite agree with him, but um, depending on the job, I think there are cases that where you need more pay and attentions to your privacy. Mm. But I don't think it's something to apologize for. Mm. And I think it's a strange situation to judge and point the fingers at it as if it, it were like a kind of wrong behavior, right. you know? But no matter what kind of jobs becomes, it is action with the boundary of the law and the basic ethics. I don't think there's nothing to apologize for like these situations. And there are also a lot of MGs are quite think similar with this, but there's also the people who say it's kind of inevitable, mm. in especially in the idol industry. Mm. But so I think it's still the topic that requires more diverse conversation and still open to debates. Exactly, and fans have definitely been split. We're not saying all fans were angry mm -hmm. by their celebrity crush going out with someone, it was actually some fans were rooting for Karina's love. Right. Not just Karina's case, but they were all looking into the fact that everyone has their own personal life. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's just romance between two young adults. It's their personal choice. Right. But I do understand the concept of, Heejun, you mentioned raising your idol. Mm -hmm. You're putting so much time and effort, also finance, that you want to see your idol really aspire to be a bigger star and some fans are saying that their priorities should be set straight. Now in the meantime we asked our viewers what they thought and if you take a look at the screen you can find out what three of them had to say about today's discussion topic. Let's start with Tiris Bell. Tiris Bell said idols are human beings just like us. They should be allowed to date and I would 100% support them. Benny said as a K-pop fan as long as we can keep supporting our idols who are in a relationship we are totally fine with that. Fun advice for the people who are against it just accept the facts. Doina said, it's up to the idols to have their own life. Real life and life on screen are so different. The idols are humans like all of us, but I think that sometimes fans can destroy the idols' real life. And I completely agree with our viewers. I think though they might have a very different occupation, at the end of the day, they're just human beings like us as well. And we're now going to include an expert in our talks to find out more about what it's like dating as a K-pop idol compared to celebrities in other parts of the world.
We are going to find out more about how conservative the Korean entertainment industry is. But before we do that, I would like to ask you guys one more question in regards to how conservative South Korea's entertainment industry is compared to other parts of the world, like Hollywood, for instance. Walter, why don't you start us off there? Well, definitely you see more people out in Hollywood being open with their relationships. I mean, they even make, they stem names from it. Like example, mm -hmm. when Brad Pitt and Angelina became a couple, it was Brangelina and yeah. then whatever, uh, Ben Affleck, Ben, uh, ben Affleck Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, mm -hmm. or Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner, and Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. <laughs> but it's so different. As we know in Western culture, it's more open. You're allowed to be in relationships. You're allowed to live these happy lives. In fact, to be honest with you, I think it's very different in the fact that a lot of people would look at uh, Western Hollywood relationships and go, I wonder how long they're going to last. Yeah, exactly. Rather than, you know, oh, they're so happy together. Or <laughs> how dare they get together? Because I'm not saying that uh, the K-pop the minds are sort of clouded, which they sort of are in this situation. But at least we know that, hey, listen, I'm not going to get Brad Pitt or I'm not going to get David Beckham. Yeah. I don't know why I'm naming just males, but, you know, I'm just saying. A very different view compared to what not just Korean K-pop fans, but just K-pop fans in general from mm. all over the world. Mm -hmm. And isn't it quite interesting to see that there's an expression here in Korea when fans talk amongst each other that it's becoming more like Hollywood. Mm. I think that's an expression referring to how, compared to Korea, it does seem to be much more liberal and open when it comes to perceiving your celebrity crush and dating life and personal life. And I think the recent Yoo Jun Yeol and Hedi and uh, Han Sui incident, a lot of people are saying this is like Hollywood because basically we've seen so many celebrities there date different people it doesn't matter whether they're dating all at once i think people are just much more open to that idea there whereas in korea we do seem to be still quite conservative i still think that like uh i don't know if a lot of people know about this in korea but mm. we have what's called anti-fan clubs yeah now that is something that i think is also <laughs> Very stupid. So if you don't know what an anti-fan club is, it's usually a club. You, you have fan clubs, right? But then you have these anti-fan clubs that are against a certain celebrity, which I find if you have the time to do that, get a job <laughs> or maybe spend your time doing something more proactive than hating on somebody. For me, I just don't see the point of those clubs, but they happen a lot. This, again, just doesn't happen in Korea. I'm not just targeting Koreans. It does mm -hmm. happen all over the world. You do see a lot of uh, backlash coming from, example, China, as we said earlier, or even Southeast Asia, because, yes, they do invest a lot of money into these celebrities. Yeah. But that's their choice to invest money into the celebrities. I invest my money, money into my daughter, which I have to, but I'm just saying in comparative, you know, I'm not going to hate on her because she did something wrong. Yeah. So I think everyone should be treating these people like human beings because at the end of the day, they have feelings. We've seen bad situations in the past, for example, Tolly or um, uh, Guhara, who have been, you know, bombarded with terrible comments for whatever reasons there's a different reason but in this situation it's we don't want to push han Hui or we don't want to push um, karina into this sort of depression where they feel like they just can't be themselves around someone else especially since they're under the spotlight for so many other things as well it's their job to be in front of tv which i get and that comes with a lot of responsibility but i do think that it would be burdensome as a human being right all right and um, connecting with these um rattle opinions i also like compare with hollywood mm -hmm. like I think one thing is different is, is like um, expectations. Yeah. You know, there are people in live there. They don't really expect it to be like reality. You know, mm. person to person to be like celebrity. They are just cheer from the outside and then like supporting like their more bigger futures and the more advantage. But in Korea, like there are most of fans are having like too much expectations to be like someone like to be in the some kind of situation in advance so that's why it's kind of like a quite more worse situation in advance so i think the most important thing that like you know all about like under understanding and outreaching is that we are all the same human being and we all need different jobs so we have to understand like person to person not like real like celebrated the person and dreaming something like, like exactly. that can happen again. Now we were going to connect live to an expert in the Korean entertainment
entertainment industry to better compare how it's like in Hollywood compared to the K entertainment industry. But unfortunately, due to technical issues, we couldn't get there. So I would now like to wrap up our discussion by talking about what we're hoping to see in terms of a better and healthier K fan uh, culture here. And I would like to point out, though there is that side of hardcore or very fervent fans expressing their rage, there are still that group of fans like I believe both of you mm. who are ready to respect their celebrity crush's personal life out there. And some agencies are actually taking lead. They're taking the initiative by confirming their dating uh, facts as soon as headlines come out. So I think that's a positive direction we're going for. Mm -hmm. But how do we think we can better satisfy fans and artists when it comes to celebrities' dating lives? I think that comes down to the fans themselves and mm. you know what they find more important in their lives. Do they find uh, a celebrity's relationship more important than their own relationship? If you value a celebrity relationship over your relationship, maybe you need to think about your values a little bit more. But anyway, like I said, celebrities shouldn't have to hide their relationships. They really shouldn't. They are just human beings who are entitled to love. And like I said before, the love from a fan is different from the love from an intimate partner. Yes, they have a higher status. I get it. They're, you know, above average person. We look at them in through this shining light that they are in but they have the option to take control of their own lives. Mm. And they have the opportunities when they fall in love to be in a relationship and become a better person. If, you are, if you've been in relationships before, you know that you grow as a person, you become more mature. Mm. Sometimes not, sometimes you do, <laughs> just depends. And we should let them live their own lives at the end of the day and worry about I, our own as I have so much to worry about. I have no, ch no chance to even think about another person's relationship <laughs> apart from my own. That's heartfelt advice. I think you're basically telling those overdue fans that they need to sort of look into their own lives first. And that comes from a warm heart, in my opinion. It does. <laughs> All right, what about you, Heejin? Well, I think it's more easy if you think more simply. Mm. <clears throat> it's all about like understanding and <clears throat> approaching that we're all the same human being without like a different job. So we all like casually and naturally falling in love and start a relationship as so far. So. It's kind of like weird that if you think that you're a celebrity, if they're falling in love and start a relationship, mm -hmm. it's fine to be like reprimanded and like criticized then. It's like compulsory thinking. It's like a lack of your fans' love and understanding. And I think in that way though. Let's evolve a culture where fans will allow their celebrities to fall in love. Now, to find out more about how conservative the Korean entertainment industry when it comes to disclosing a celebrity's love life, we're briefly going to connect to Bernie Cho in our talks. Bernie has come back from all the technical issues Issues. Bernie, he's the president of DFSB Collective, and I'd like to ask you one question before we end off. How would you like to see the K-entertainment industry change as similar to Hollywood or other parts of the world? All right, unfortunately, I don't think the technical issue has been solved. So hopefully in our next episode, we'll be able to elaborate a bit more about the fact on how K-pop idols and celebrities, are they still hiding the fact that they're dating? How are fans perceiving this? We'll add a bit more analysis in our future episode. But in the meantime today, we're going to be wrapping up here and we'll be here every day from 9.30 to 10 a.m. Korea time, bringing you more topics young people are talking about. Special thanks to Walter Lee. Lovely to be here. All right, and Uhijin. Thanks to be here. All all right, and thank you everyone for watching. We'll come again with another episode for more analysis. Now we are News Generation. Generation.